Hey everyone, I wanted to give you a demonstration of the My Schedule screen within Service Autopilot's mobile application and show you everything that you can do from this screen. Now I'm logged into a generic account here, so it's not really industry specific. Everything that I'm doing here can apply across any industry. So some of the things that I can do. Number one, at the top of the screen where I see my face, I can keep track of a number of different things. I can keep track of my generic time clock just by clicking my face and that clocks me in for the day. And then if I click the face again, I get a number of different things that I could keep track of. I get some non-billable items such as break times, loading times, unloading times, driving to and from the office, and then the start other option allows you or allows your company to create your own custom categories that we don't preload your system with by default. So good examples of this would be the gas station or going to pick up materials or just generic shop time, equipment maintenance, a number of different things. And then lastly, we can clock out for the day as well. Underneath that, I've got my job list. Now in my example here, I only have one job that's been scheduled for me today, but this list could just as easily have 20 jobs or 30. So within the job information, I see my appointment time, if applicable. As always, appointment times are optional in Service Autopilot. I see the name of the client, the address, the map code, if I have one, also optional, the name of the service that I'm performing, and the amount of time that's been budgeted for the job. If I were to click into this, I would get even more detail, but we'll focus on that screen in another video. Underneath each job, I get some shortcut options, and let's talk about what each one does. Number one, I have a drive button. If I were to click this, it starts tracking my drive time to James's property. I can stop it and start it again as I please. The map icon, if I were to click this, would bring up the default mapping application on my phone. So either Apple Maps on an Apple device or Google Maps for an Android device. Click current location and route to get your turn-by-turn -turn directions. This is identical to getting directions to a restaurant or any other thing that you might get directions from using the default mapping application in the phone. Let's go back to the app. I can also click this contact button to get a few options to contact the customer. This can be turned off if for whatever reason you don't want your employees to be able to access the customer contact info. But from here, I can call just by clicking call and it will pull up the telephone number. I can send a text and I can type out my text message here. Or I can send an email. Again, just type your message here to send. I can also skip a job if I need to for any reason. If I click skip here, it allows me to type out my reason that I'm skipping the job. So let's just say this job got rained out maybe. I'll type rain and then done, and now the job is removed from my list. So let's take a look at the down arrow here. If I were to click this button, I can view any applicable job notes. So this would be useful to view all of my job notes for the day to see what I needed to load into my truck or my van. I can add a job. I can add a to-do. I can modify my crew or my team if I have other people working with me. And I can view my time log. If I need to go back and look at previous day's work, I can click on any of these dates to view those schedules. 
This has been a brief overview of the My Schedule screen within the Service Autopilot mobile app. Thanks for watching.